Hi, my name is Andreas Bovens and I lead Opera Software's Developer Relations team. This weekend I had the pleasure to do a lightning talk at SVG Open and I'm redoing this talk uh, for the purpose of a screencast um, which will last about five minutes. Um, the title is uh, SVG and Media Queries and well, let's just get started. So in June of this year I was at the Ad Media Conference in London and there was this panel with Chris Wilson, Douglas Crockford, Jeremy Keith, uh, John Hicks, and Jason Santamaria, and they were discussing uh, hot topics in the current web design industry. One of those topics was SVG, and it seemed like the panelists didn't really seem to get um, how SVG could be valuable for them, how it could make their workflow easier, or how they could use it in, in their job. And one of the things that was brought up was um, that SVG currently doesn't seem to have a mechanism to selectively um, scale or not scale certain parts of images. And that's especially important if you're an icon designer like John Hicks uh, and you, need, you want to optimize icons for small, um, for small sizes, want to do some pixel pushing, and it seemed like this hook wasn't quite there yet in SVG. I was sitting in the audience and uh, I was thinking, uh, well, isn't there a way we could we could sort of hack something together? Well, looking at Jason Santa Maria's T-shirt, it seemed to me like um, an SVG plus media query combo would actually solve that problem. I didn't quite have time to uh, hack something together, um, but then finally, during uh, SVG open in the evenings, I sort of uh, you know my I was in the right mindset, and I tried. Um, to cook something up and well this is the result. So first of all let me explain a little bit about media queries. Media queries are a CSS mechanism that allows you to connect certain conditions to style rules. Um, so in this case for instance we say uh, if the max width is 256 pixels apply these and these and these style rules. That can be width, it can be height, it can be aspect ratio and so on. Um, it is worth pointing out that the 256 pixels refers here to the viewport width. And in this particular case, uh, if you think of it in a desktop context, um, that means that the browser uh, width must be 256 pixels maximum uh, in order for these style rules to be applied. Let's have a look at a simple HTML example. So this is a page with a normal three column layout and media queries trigger a two column layout at a certain width and then a single column layout and if you resize even further Bruce Lawson pops up. So you see that everything, even the unexpected, is possible with media queries. Okay, let's go back to the slides. There we go. So what we are going to do here is um, have an HTML document I reference the SVG image via an image tag in the HTML document. This SVG image looks as follows. It has media queries defined in uh, max with 400 pixels, max with 300 pixels and so on, refers as we previously said to a certain viewport width. But in this case, this viewport width is not related to the width of the browser window, but instead um, to the width uh, attribute of the image tag. So if that sounds complicated, let me quickly show you some examples and I think it will become clear. So this is an example with um, a circle. Uh, there's an SVG image included in an HTML page. So we've got a little slider here that resizes the image. And if we start resizing it to something smaller, you see it becomes green because I applied a media query on it, media query on it that triggers a green color at a certain size and even further another color green and so on. So I can apply different colors depending on what size the image is. So here is uh, the same image basically included uh, 21 times in the page. I've given it different widths and that's why different colors are triggered when it is shown in the page. Here's another example with a little SVG logo that I've made. On the left a logo with media queries, on the right one without media queries. So if I resize now, you'll see that I'm halfway 
this uh, spiral here in the background has disappeared and we size a bit more you see that the border is actually thicker than on the right um, so that is also done with meter grays and if I resize even further you see that a sort of fev icon like rendition pops up whereas here it become it's a very small uh, very small version of uh, the original icon not very well suited for that small resolution okay and then the last example uh, this is a graph that I took from Wikipedia if I resize this one you see that the fonts here are a bit thicker but they're still readable whereas here on the right they become much harder to read if you size it even further the one on the right is actually totally unusable this is uh, still doable um, and if I resize it even more hop, there it turns into a spark line which I can include in all kinds of documents whereas this uh, graph here is not suitable really for use at that size so that is uh, that's all um, if you have any questions feel free to email me at andreasb at opera.com and all the demos you've seen you can download from people.opera.com slash andreasb slash demos thanks for watching bye